What is up, Bend Relo community? Coming at you with our first market update of 2024. This first slide is really going to set the tone for the rest of the update, so let's go ahead and dive right in. What we're looking at is top three reasons buyers decided to pause their decision here over the last few months. We're looking at factors such as mortgage rates, inventory, and then affordability, or in other words, home prices. Obviously, one number is towering above the rest here, and that is the fact that 72.1% of buyers decided to pause their decision due to mortgage rates alone. Now, moving forward, we're gonna look at a bit of a snapshot at where mortgage rates have been, where they are currently, and I'll speak to a little bit about you know, where we think they're gonna be here as we head through 2024 and into 2025. So we saw that steady rise in mortgage rates all the way through 2023, up until about the end of October. That's when we peaked just above 8%. And then great news, we saw a fairly steep decline all the way to where we are currently, which is the mid sixes. So kind of that 6.6 .6 to 6.8% range. One thing I wanna to touch on is as we move forward into 2024, and as I mentioned, looking at 2025 as well, as we are expecting rates to drop, we're expecting the feds to make cuts. Now, a couple things to go along uh, with that rate drop prediction is as those rates come down, we are expecting a much more competitive market. So if you're looking to buy, if it's the right time, it's the smart decision for you financially, and you can find the right home, my team and I are highly advising that you look at purchasing sooner than later. Now, a couple reasons for that. The first of which being the competitiveness that I mentioned. As rates continue to drop, more buyers are getting off the sidelines. We're going to get into more multiple offer situations. And we're also going to see prices start to climb as there's going to be you know, more demand for homes here on the market. Secondary is the equity that you'll gain from getting in now versus later. Again, as those prices rise, that's going to take away any equity that you would have gotten if you would have gotten into a home sooner. So again, if it's the right decision for you financially, if you can find the right home, now is when we recommend that you get into a new house. Moving forward here, we're going to look at the Bend Beacon Report. So our numbers here in town, we're sitting at 725 k for our median price that's virtually unchanged month over month, 29 median days on the market, 90 total closings. So that's down almost 27%. So it was a very slow month here in Bend in December. We're also still looking at two months of inventory. So very little inventory. This has been virtually unchanged now for five or six months. Again, very, very slim pickings in terms of listings still at the current moment. Moving forward into more data here, we're looking at days on market for sold properties. I wanna start by looking at last year, 2022, around the same time into 2023. So we saw these, again, this median days on market peak at 51 days, uh, right around the January, February timeframe um, in 2023. As we look at the sharp decline that happened heading right into the spring months, we went from 51 to 13 to 10 to seven. We're expecting kind of a similar profile and picture this year is to go from that 29 number and see a relatively drastic drop, especially due to pent up demand at the moment. So as I mentioned, if you're a buyer looking to get in now, it's a smart move. Um, this really shows you what's going to happen in terms of a competitive market as we head into spring. Part of that is just seasonality of real estate. Um, the other part right now is those interest rate drops that we believe are coming. Moving forward, we're looking at median sales price per square foot last year. Again, kind of winter 2023, we saw the lowest price at $315 per square foot. This year, we went from 379 in the summer and have dropped to 359 in December. We'll likely be a little bit lower in January as a lot of the negotiations that happened for homes that will be closing this month um, happened in December. So again, that number should drop a little bit further but we are expecting it to creep back up as we move forward into the spring months, again, due to interest rate drops, competitiveness in the market, um, and the total demand um, that's going to happen due to the pent up level of buyers. So sliding forward here into our MLS data for Bend, we've got 220 total listings, that's down almost 40%. So sellers are feeling this, they're holding off on listing their homes, but they're gonna to have to come on the market here at some point. So that's gonna be met with that buyer demand and something to keep in mind. 83 median days in the market, again, up in a big way, almost 27%, a little over 26 and a half percent. 
we've got 100 listings with changed price. That's actually slowing down a little bit. And then we're down 6.06% average change from original price here month over month. So moving forward to our bottom line here at Bend Relo, lower mortgage rates going into the year. That's absolutely wonderful news and we're pumped about it and we want you to be pumped about it. Again, those lower rates are gonna to equate to more buyers being able to get into a home. We are expecting the rates to continue to drop as we head through 2024. Right now we got pent up buyer and seller demand. I just touched on the seller demand, that lack of listings. They're gonna to have to come onto the market at some point um, and they will. In terms of buyers, it's the interest rates. That's 72% of buyers pause their decision due to the high interest rates. They're gonna get off the sidelines and purchase as well. Third here, increased options and higher prices into spring. So yes, we will see those listings come onto the market, but we are also expecting a big spike in that buyer demand that's been pent up as well, which will result in those higher prices creeping up. Again, more multiple offer situations, uh, more competitiveness is gonna mean those listings do start to climb in price. So if you or anyone you know is looking for real estate advice right now or looking to create a plan as we head towards 2024 and 2025 to be successful with either purchasing or selling a home. Also, if you're looking at investing, please don't hesitate to reach out to our team. We'd be more than happy to help. I hope everybody has a happy, healthy, and safe January. We'll see you back here for the January market update in February, 2024.